Welcome, I'm John from Two Brothers Radio Control. FMS sent us the Super Scorpion 90mm to review. This is one of the most unique designs that we've seen in a sport jet. How does it fly and is it any good? Let's find out. What's going on YouTube? Today FMS sent me the Super Scorpion 90mm. This thing's pretty cool. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Uh, it has a lot of features from the Viper 90mm including the exact same gear so they're very springy. Uh, you can't see me pushing it. Here we go. Easy to push. Uh, same wheels even. Um, nice servos. These are actually high quality servos. The same ones that sound like they're from the Extra 300 which is also what uh, E-Flight sells that's been made by FMS. So uh, this is also one of the first sport jets I think I've ever seen with a twin tail. So it looks kind of like a fighter jet. And orange is my favorite color and it's Halloween almost. So look at this thing. It looks like a bat flying through the sky with those graphics on it. It's going to be awesome. One issue to note for the gear is that the main strut doors will act like brakes if the model comes down hard, jamming the wheels if they compress too much. Be aware if you land hard on the regular or fly off of grass. We added orange electrical tape to the cockpit lining to prevent the white foam from showing through and to help grip the canopy during aggressive maneuvers. We're firm believers in vinyl electrical tape for aesthetic trim touching up damage, or adding vinyl armor to areas prone to dragging on the pavement, such as wingtips. We're also flying this jet on SMC high voltage packs. These 5575C packs are what we did most of our flying with. And of course, we're flying with a 5280RC afterburner unit. Ground handling is great with wide spaced wheels that prevent tipping over. I think we've covered enough pre-flight, so let's get airborne. We did our best to film on a sunnier day, but sometimes you can't pick the weather. So we went up into a gray sky with blustery winds that shifted directions on us and made landings challenging. First impressions of the Super Scorpion? It's fast. It uses the same motor as the E-Flight Viper 90mm another rebranded FMS product. This makes it feel lighter than it looks and contributes to its overall stability in the air. The wing loading isn't bad, but the jet does tend to feel weird as it approaches a stall. You can actually see it becoming unstable as it approaches critical alpha when doing high alpha tests here. I bet it'll do it inverted if it doesn't uh, straight up like that. High Alpha doesn't seem like this jet's strong suit, but that's okay. Not every model is going to perform it, but it is unfortunate that it's not easily achieved. We'll have to test it more later to see if we can pull it off. It's super unstable. Like the Viper 90, the Super Scorpion can actually hover on the stock power system, and it's even easier with the SMC high voltage packs. Let's do some touching and going. Turbulence. I would figure the first time we go to land, it gets caught by a gust, right? All right. Even with the AS3X gyro, 
The jet wing rocked through strong rotor turbulence as it entered ground effect, which was enough to scrape the wing on the runway. It looks like I need to increase the relative gain mix to improve low speed stability in gusty days like this. Yeah, it's gotta be half laps for right now with this wind. still flying. If it's this stable and turbulent air, we can expect that it will fly really well on a calm day. We'll make sure to schedule the final review for a day with low winds so you get both sides of the coin for this jet. Let's move on to more aerobatic focused flying now. Since it has ball bearing wheels, it does tend to roll forever, and because it doesn't have full flying stabilators, you can't really get it to slow down using the elevators because they don't resist the air enough. If you're flying on pavement, either bleed off a lot of speed before touching down or expect it to roll out for a long time. style maneuvers. I see that. Go through here, go straight up after first. Stalled it coming out of that. <laughs> Let's do it again.
be able to keep up with it the entire way. Mm-hmm. Cool. We'll do that again. What's going on YouTube? So by this point, you've seen me flying the Super Scorpion in some pretty blustery, honestly kind of crappy conditions. Uh, we did scrape the wing on the first maiden flight. You can barely even tell that it happened. I do have some touch-up paint that I got from Lowe's that I can put on the jet. Overall impressions, if I had to give you a maiden score, and I kind of do, I'm gonna say this thing is a solid seven and a half to eight out of 10. There are some issues with it that I don't like. The roll rate to me is a little on the low side and it made it kind of difficult to get out of some of the maneuvers that I was putting the jet into. Uh, overall though, the build quality on this jet is fantastic. So maybe I'll up that to an eight and a half because if you look at the the um, overall build quality, I mean the fact that ailerons are on uh, carbon fiber hinged surfaces, with little plastic rods holding them in place. Same with the elevators, same with the rudders. Uh, this thing is super stable. It's got Viper 90 gear. Let's go ahead and bend down here, take a look at it, show you guys how the how it handles the, the struts. I mean, this is exactly how the Viper 90 looks. Super soft gear that have no problem taking any kind of abuse at all. Um, plenty of space in the battery bay to put in whatever you want. As you saw me talk about earlier, the uh, I did put this orange electrical tape on here from 3M just to keep it from having a white line that shows up on the side of the jet. It looks kind of goofy and weird, uh, so I had to fix that myself. That is a little slight drawback for me. There's a ton of battery space in here. The 5280RC burner fits in just perfectly fine up here. Uh, it does come with an XT90 connector. I did use a connector to convert it to EC5 with a voltage wire spliced in, which connects to my AR637T. So far, it's pretty cool. I think we can do more with it. I just need to learn how to fly the jet a little bit better. So we'll bring it back in the, in the future. But for now, we're gonna sign out. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and let us know what you think. Cheers.